you'll have to forgive me. I am uh, very tired. I have a serious, serious headache right now. Severe headache. And um, I'm pretty much ready to turn in. But before that, I want to... uh, I want to say a couple of things on the uh, on the fact of the matter that I learned last night that possibly one of the greatest creators passed away earlier this month and um I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to process it. I was processing it the entirety of the night last night when I got the news from one of my Discord members while I was uh, at work. I'm just now coming from uh, work and, uh, I had to occupy my mind with uh, work and getting it out of the way as uh, I couldn't really come to terms with the reality of this news when it came to it. After reading the official <clears throat> the official news on this, um, I can't I can't really remember exactly what the uh, condition, what his condition was, or and I I have no idea what the medical term was. All I know is that it was a acu- acute something. I am still having a hard time believing the fact that at the age of 68, Akira Toriyama is just gone. Another one. Right after, right after literally losing Kentaro. Mura and Ken, and Kazuki Takahashi. It's just it's just one after another. And yet this one this one kind of hits hits the hardest. For the longest time, I have followed Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, starting with Dragon Ball Z. As I uh, as I grew up, <clears throat> it was quite frankly a, a seriously influential acts um, aspect in my life. Growing up, I were I remember the days when I would catch it on Toonami, one of my fa- favorite channels of all time. Uh, while watching Cartoon Network, I would spend countless times trying to follow the uh, schedule for when Toonami would show up, as uh, it quite frankly had one of the greatest shows to be broadcast um, at the time. It was literally the first, the first location I would find anime at. And I didn't even understand the fact that what I was seeing was even anime. Even before Dragon Ball Z, when I was watching stuff like Pokemon, I didn't even know that Pokemon was even anime. I wasn't even aware of any of the stuff that I was watching when it came to it. It was something different. Something literally different from what I usually watch in terms of cartoons. I wasn't even aware of the fact that it was something that was made from Japan. 
But I loved those times. I loved those memories upon stumbling stumbling upon such a such a visceral just intense and hype inducing show i remember the the time when i first glimpse the moment where goku would transform into a super saiyan it was at that point when i realized while watching dragon ball z and then after that dragon ball gt and then after that the dragon ball the original the first it took quite a lot to actually watch that after getting myself into the sequels as it was it was a different it was definitely a different direction when it came to it but i really enjoyed every single aspect of those shows i never really went into reading the manga after i started essentially picking it up when it came to reading the shonen mangas at the time i again just like anime i didn't even know that there was such a thing when it came to japanese comics but that was until i stumbled upon shonen jump at my uh, local Publix. man and that one was actually the the first book uh, the first uh, the first manga that i realistically read i actually still have the first one i believe this was my first ever my first ever show and jump and This was the cover. The moment I saw this, I just had to grab it. And looking through it, it just had so much, so much. The point in which this, this volume was at when it came to Dragon Ball Z was the Goku versus Cell fight. And it had so many others that caught my attention and honestly opened a new door when it came to getting into anime and manga. It was how I started getting into Buso Rankin. It was how I got into One Piece, Naruto. Oh, and <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho. Ah, uh, yes. The times that I would stay up at night in order for me to w watch Adult Swim. Those, uh, those were the days. But it wasn't just anime and manga that he that he touched. It was also the gaming scene when it came to his art style. The first few RPGs that I play at the time after getting a taste of uh, Square Enix games with Kingdom Hearts, I uh, started essentially looking into other games that they made, which was how I got into Final Fantasy. And then I noticed a particular game <clears throat> that had a similar art style to that of Dragon Ball Z. Lo and behold, learning of the fact that the artist who did the art for Chrono Trigger 
was actually Akira Toriyama. And then after that, learning that Dragon Quest, one of the the very first RPGs made in Japan, was also done with Akira Toriyama's art. It's amazing how impactful he has essentially influenced much of these industries when it came to it. And when it came to the show, the, the manga, all of those things, it, it really, it really did something for my life, getting into various other things. It, it definitely stemmed from the starting point that was essentially Dragon Ball Z because of just his iconic art style. And the fact that he wasn't even done he was he was still working on so many other things. We won't even be able to get to see it. We we won't be able to uh see what he started and will finish. They will most likely still continue it. We don't really know. <clears throat> I'm sure that he still had so many plans. And it's unfortunate that that there were different plans for him. I definitely want to express my condolences to uh, his family. As well as to many others who are close to him. This is definitely something that's going to change the very, uh, the very industry in and of itself when it comes to uh, manga, anime, so on and so forth. I could definitely say that uh, if there's one thing that I want to say more than anything is thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done through the years. essentially influencing every single aspect of the very communities that pretty much make up <laughs> much of the excitement in my life. Enjoying every single thing that you have created, whether it be in video games, in manga, or in anime media. You are going to be severely missed. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. And again, thank you.